Hi to all the Form 5 students. Let's do revision for Form 3 syllabus. For the index or indices, we have a rule whereby the power multiply m times n, it can be written as a n times m. When there is only one base here, we multiply, okay? No plus. When we are plus, when we have the two base like this, then we will take the power n plus. When only one base, we will multiply the power. Remember this. Example here, 2 times 4, or you can write 4 times 2, 4 times 3, 4 times 3, right? You can just take out the bracket. This bracket, take out and put here. Okay, you become multiply. So example here, okay, let's see this one. Uh -huh, this one is uh, simplify the following. So it's very simple. It's only one base, so it's multiply. Uh, one base, base is H, so it's 30, 3 times 10. And here, if you want to write, will be negative Y, 18. In fact, you can write as uh, y18 because this is even uh, negative y to the power of 18 can be written as negative 1 okay 18 which is positive all right times with the y18 all right so the answer will be positive y18 all right so uh, for question number two determine whether the following equation true or false so obviously this one two three three two this is true and then three four two times six twelve right is two power twelve so this is true and this one is three power twelve and then this is three power three times two this is twenty seven times four becomes six times four twenty four so this is false all right so let's uh, go through another uh, okay let's see the the solution yeah this is 3 power 8 and this is h30 and this is negative y to the power 18 and then this one left and right left and right left you get 4 power 6 right also getting 4 power 6 so left equal to right so it's true here left and right 2 power 12 left and right 2 power 12 so left equal to right so it's true all right so this one is 3 and 27 so we write 3 2 power 6 2 times 6 so it's 3 power 12 and the right hand side will be 3 times uh 3 times 2 times 4 will be 324 not the same right so that means left not the same with the right okay hence it is false that's how you show right when you show you have to show the proper step right let's see uh, how do you use a law of indices to perform operations of multiplication and division so if let's say we want to multiply this index number and this index number with the uh, there's a power so you have to times in the power for every terms like this okay so it become a m q times b n q so in short when we want to expand we have to multiply the power inside right for this one also the same we have to for divide in fact the same we have to times the q inside a m q divided by b and q right so finally we will simplify like this a m this q multiply in and then this n uh, have to multiply with the q also all right so that is how we simplify the uh, index number using the law of indices so uh, example here we have the times with the 5 for every terms times so it become 2 4 times 5 20 times 5 3 times 5 15 times 11 10 something like this 
Okay, this is for multiplication. This is one example. Alright, for division, let's say for, for this one. For G. So we can say that this 3 and here is 1. So 3, 1 times 3 times M, 2 times 3 times N, 3 times 3 over 6 M, 3 N. Then we will simplify become 3 3 times uh, 3 power 3 will be 27 3 times 3 times 3 and then here is m6 and then here is we put a multiply here and 9 right after that we will simplify we will divide by we need to divide by 6 m3 and then n so here 3 2 3 3 so it become 3 over 2 right 3 over 2 and then these two we can minus become m6 minus 3 and then times with the this one is n 9 minus this is 1 so finally the answer will become 3 over 2 m3 and then and 8 all right so this is the answer now let's see how to do here we are 5 4 20 and then 5 3 15 right and then 5 2 10 so this is actually the basic okay law of indices that you must memorize okay for example here 5 2 this 5 have to be power 2 so become 25 and then 4 2 become uh, m8 and then 3 times 2 becomes 6 all right and then here remember 2 is power 4 x is 3 times 4 12 and inside here will be 3 4 also the down also we have to multiply 7 4 28 right this okay and here we have many terms 2 4 uh, 3 times 4, 4 times 4, this is 1 times 4, then this is 1 times 3, 3t, 3, 3, 3, 3, 1, 3, 1, this is 1, and 2 times 3 over 36, extend y, 12, and then we have to uh, simplify, we just focus the number, number, we take out the number, then x, okay, when we see x, Okay, we plus these two can be plus so become 15 and 16 and 6 can be plus for the y and because uh dy so there's a dy here divided by d so there's a minus 10 there's a dy here so there's a minus 12 so finally the answer is so simple right so there's an indices law so that uh you need to uh master before you go for your SPM exam a power 0 is 1 and a negative m then when you bring down will be 1 over a positive n all right so division in index form so this is index form law of indices so if we apply the law of indices with minus we get 2 0 which is 1 Okay, this one also minus so m0 is 1 so if we do repeated multiplication for this one that means we will take 2 times 2 times 2 so we get 1 right this one we will multiply m 5 times and we cancel cancel we get 1 right so 2 power 0 is 1 m power 0 is 1 conclusion so anything to the power of 0 is 1 remember this this is very important even the love shape power 0 is 1. Alright, so remember A cannot be equal to 0. How about this one? The indices law. A negative N equal to 1 over A N. Let's go through. Alright, so if we divide uh, 2 power 3 divided by 2 power 5, so 2, 3 minus 5, you get 2, negative 2. So you get 1 over, if we expand like this we can see clearly okay we cancel out we can cancel out 
uh, we can cancel out one two three one two three left only two right so it become one two two which is one over two two negative two become positive two see or not so this one is m2 divided by m5 so two minus five will be negative three so let's say we write m2 will be m times m and then m5 will be m will be uh, m times m five times but we cancel out the two m we will get 1 over m power 3 is a positive 1. So finally, we can conclude that 2 negative 2 is 1 over 2, 2. m negative 3 is 1 over positive m3, m positive 3. So in short, this law is very important. Anything uh, to the power of negative power, when you bring down, it will become a positive power. Alright, remember this. All these are important law of indices. So example here, uh, following term in positive positive index form. So they want to see all the positive. So just bring down. So just bring down will become positive. Just bring down will become positive number, right? Okay, so that is basically how we get the answer. Positive, positive, right? Here, 2 will be still positive, M bring down, and this one bring down, become positive, 2, this one will be, uh, this one is actually 1 over, from here, 2 over 3 power 10. But because it's 1 over, so we can inverse become 3 over 2. Meaning that we can write as, uh, to make you understand, I can do like that. Okay, for this one, I can write 2 over 3, negative 1 times 10. So this whole thing is 1 over 2 over 3, right? 1 power 10. So it becomes 1 over means 1 dy by 3, 2 over 3. dy, you know, this. So when you dy, isn't it you have to inverse become multiply 3 over 2 power 10 so so finally you get 3 over 2 to the power of 10 right so that is uh, about the uh, fraction so in fact uh, you have to memorize the law so when you do reverse way you bring up it will be negative right you see or not bring up the negative so that means you can apply both way depends on the situation, you bring down, positive become negative. If you bring up, negative become positive, right? So, okay, so I have discussed all the law of indices. So, I hope you do understand. And then here, how to solve this one is, uh, we always square root this one. When we square root, the square, the square root, and square gone, so x is 3. Square root are used to eliminate the square. Here we can use a cube root. So cube root is used to eliminate the cube. Right? Reciprocal of 2 is 1 over 2. So we can just times 1 over 2 with the power. And then here 1 over 2. So we can cut, cut, then we do that for x. So there's also another way. Reciprocal of 2. Reciprocal of 3 is 1 over 3. Reciprocal means is actually 1 over a is a reciprocal of a if here 2 1 over 2 1 2 is a reciprocal of the 2 1 over 4 is a reciprocal of 4 all right so i have explained to you reciprocal and how to solve the uh, square root and cube root so in fact, uh, we can write this one is the same. Cube root you can write as one third. Square root you can write as power half. So that means uh, if this is n, this will be one over n. The power, the root is actually depends on the n. Okay, so we have discussed about the fraction, the roots in fraction. Now let's, uh, one more is uh, this one, amn. A M times N and this one is 
1 over n. So remember this uh, important law of indices. Okay, so let's do again. So like this one, 2, 64, 2 third, right? Okay, so we can write 64, the 2, we put here 1 third. So that means we square this thing and then we can write as power 3 and it becomes 16. Alright, so we can also write 1 over 3. This is fraction. Bring the fraction inside. Just now was m inside. Fraction inside, we simplify first and we square. This one looks easy, right? And we can also do this way. We will do the cube root and then this thing we square. So we'll get 16. And finally, we can do this way. I mean, we just keep root, then we square the whole thing. So finally, we get the same answer. So we have four ways to, uh, we have four ways to solve. Okay. So in in short, we must know that m over n, this m times one over n or one over n times n. And for this one, we can write the root here, m inside, or we can write the root here with a bracket, m outside. Okay, so these are the rules of indices. Oh, okay, I think that is a good revision for the indices for form 3. Alright, so these are the summary for the indices of the form 3. Remember, for the multiply for the dy with the two base there is a plus and minus if one base we just multiply and then a power zero is one a negative n is one over a n and they are base different ways of writing this this and this all right so that's all my sharing on law of indices okay then bye bye and have a nice day